Alabama about to kick off to get this game underway. The ball squirts through the end zone. That'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. White wants to throw it. They're working that left side. They'll move the chains after he gets into the 43-yard line. Just the ability to move the chains, keep the drive going, sort of quintessential efficiency from a Sooner quarterback. Yeah, and from a Sooner offense because, Reese, they keep the drive going, but what does that do? Most Oklahoma teams over the years, we see them go fast, and they, and they wear you down throughout a football game. So the quarterback play on those completions that move the sticks that make you play three more plays, four more plays, five more plays, and just wear you out. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Three wideouts to the right on second and eight. Fast motion from the offense. Looking to throw on second down. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. The D thinking brings some heat on third and long from the 44. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. And the ball is intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And this defense wanted to get off the field on the opening drive, keep the offense from establishing momentum. They did better than that. They took the ball away. Yeah, you got to set the tone, right, on defense. Early in this game on the opening drive, you're trying to kind of draw a line in the sand, saying, look, this is who we are. This is what we came to do. We're going to be more physical, and we're going to take the football away. And a play like that, it just galvanizes and energizes the rest of the team. They'll start this drive with a pass. Snagged on the outside, it's Singleton. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Scanning the field, it's Fafita. A shot for the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Crimson Tide! <laughs> on to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. No shot at a return. It's out of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. it again and here comes the offense after that last pick David they really need to take care of the ball this time no doubt it and Palmer I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick do that again and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game <laughs> you got to go out you got to call your plays and I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this point to the 43 yard line and a first down for this offense Another big play for this Sooner receiver, dare I say, Hollywood-esque. Hollywood is right, and that's one guy that comes to mind, by the way. But this offense, it just does what it does. No matter the name, no matter the, the coach, whoever it is, it's going to be high-flying, it's going to be fast-paced, and it's going to be really good. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. 
So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The officials move it five yards back, and it's first and 15 for this offense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Shoots it to the left. And it's picked off. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job of this decision here. The offense lining up for a first down play. Trying to start the drive with a pass. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Grab behind the line. It's neighbors. Every good quarterback is first a game manager. At Alabama, that used to be sort of a, a label of derision, but now they're not only that, they're playmakers. Yeah, and it's what they used to ask them to do. Like, like they were very comfortable handing the ball off, running the ball, controlling the clock, you know, trying to keep your defense fresh. Nah, bro. If you can't score points now, throws for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown time. One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing that he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get him. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Sort of misjudged it against that high sky and couldn't catch it. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively. And it's picked off for the third time today. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, Alabama! They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the 30. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Wide open downfield. They finally get him on the ground, but that's the kind of play that will carry momentum into the second quarter. Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. In blue. In blue. He wants to throw. Another interception. That's his fourth of the day. He was trying to get that return going. Instead, he'll hand it to his offense at the 38. As a quarterback, you've got to give your receiver an opportunity to make the play. You've got to put the ball on his body. That throw gets away a little bit from the QB, and that leads to the tip of the interception. 
Here comes that Alabama offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it up. He lobs one high down the left side. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. That is exactly what you want to do with the football. He's got it all the way down to the 15-yard line. And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. He'll ride his man on the option. And the ball is free on the pitch. Scoops it up, still a live ball. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. Doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit, you cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. You want to talk about hearts and throats when that ball was on the ground? The offense recovered its own fumble. Looking to throw, it's Fafita. Fires to the right. Just too much mustard on that one. Can't miss the target that badly. Well, on that incompletion, the quarterback and receiver just not on the same page. I mean, that wasn't even close. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. Motion from the offense. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. He caught it! And to the end zone! Touchdown, Bama! Let's see, he can block, he can catch, he can run. Yeah, let's just forget about the blocking for now. The catching, the running, the scoring is dangerous. And they do the dirty work, but this is what they would prefer to do. These guys want to catch touchdown passes. Most of these guys were wide receivers in high school, and they show you why. They'll go up, get that football, make plays for the quarterback. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. Getting set for the point after. It's a fake, and the holder showing off that arm. And it's complete off the fake. They already have the lead, and they apparently want more here in the first half, going for the onside kick. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. They want to get the ball right back here in the first half. They've got the lead going for the onside kick. Few anxious moments there, but the hands team true to its name as they make the grab and get the ball. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and re Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Quarterback could not have walked that ball and placed it into the hands of his receiver any better. That was a perfect throw. Wide out, deep downfield. you got to finish the play. White going to attack through the air. He's not afraid to go deep. And that is his fifth interception, a nightmare he is not waking up from. Nice read, nice break. Good job by the defender understanding that ball had some air underneath it. Takes advantage of it, goes and makes the big play. Tide offense rolls onto the field. He'll start this drive firing. Looking deep. 
And that pass intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. The 40. He's out of bounds, showing off the hands on the pick and then the nifty moves on a terrific return. A first down for the offense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. And it's an incomplete pass over the middle. After the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires deep toward the end zone. And they can't hook up, going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. That's an example of the offensive coordinator trying to be aggressive and trying to take a shot. Now, the offense isn't able to click on that play, but moving ahead in the second half, it's important they continue to dial up these big plays. You want to stay aggressive, and you want to keep testing this second. And the pass is incomplete here on third down, but there is a flag. Let's check it out. Offense in an empty set. Here we go. White wants to throw it. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. He's going to run it. Quarterback gets the... Got some room, headed to the goal line. Oh, it's loose. First down here for the offense. Quarterback checking the play. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And that's what this defense needs to get going. You've given up a bunch of touchdowns. You haven't been great early. But now you finally get some pressure, get the quarterback to the ground. Now maybe start turning this defense around. Let's see if they play it conservatively and try to get some of the yardage back on second and long from the 13. The play action fake. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. Well, guess who? They're taking a shot to the guy that's just been torching this defense in the entire first half. He's already got over 100 yards, so why not try to add to it and force this defense to prove that they can cover him? They did do. Fires one high and deep. Makes the catch on the right side. Oh, look out! The tap! And he got away from the defense and takes it in! Touchdown, Crimson Tide! A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him, and the ball was thrown perfectly out in front, and you could see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they could not have finished with more style. An 87-yard touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. White going to attack through the air. Throws to the wideout. Makes a connection. Running toward the tape. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. Touchdown Sooners. Number eight. 
Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half, we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. Wide out in motion. The snap sets up the throw. Looking to scramble. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they trim more off of that lead. They're going to try to climb out of this hole going for the onside kick. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly and they secure the football. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense set on first down. Flag. He's looking to throw it. Pressure coming. Just couldn't find an open man. He'll get rid of it, and it'll be second down. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. The give to the back. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. That's the end of the first half. Go ahead and roll the dice to start this second half. They're lined up for an onside kick. In a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. Man, how about that? You come out of the locker room, you just had a little bit of a break, you rested, you told your club we're going to come out, and now we're going to be aggressive. We're going to kick an onside, even though we're winning and you failed. Now this defense better step up and respond. Here comes that Alabama offense. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the right. Looking for room at the 30. Afterburner's coming. Touchdown time! And the punishment has been extended. He has been surgical. Precision passes using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. After scoring that touchdown, they'll try to get it right back with an onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Oklahoma offense will go back to work. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. Unloads to the wideout. Can't make the connection in the defense, putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. And you see this formula work at all levels of football. You pressure the quarterback, his numbers start to drop. He's not as efficient. Nice job by the defense. White wants to throw it. Unleashes one deep. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Three straight misfires has left them staring at fourth and ten, but they'll try it again. 
He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires to the wideout. And they stop the fourth down pass. The defense gets off the field. And that's a big time drop right there. Fourth down, opportunity to catch it, maybe get the first down. That is, that is tough to swallow, but as a QB, I got to walk over to him and say, listen, dude, we're going to need you later on. I still believe it. Got the first down. Looking for more. Can anyone catch him? Past the 20. He's at the 10. They stripped it out. Oh, and fortunate to get that one back. And as an added bonus, they get the first down. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground. But a nice job understanding just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession.